Hi everyone, it's Dr. Rich here from Salvatore Dental. I wanted to share with you some of the new state ADA, OSHA, and CDC guidelines that we've implemented here at the office to have the best quality, safety, and comfort for all of our patients. A few changes that we have here now for our patients. Um, one is that we're gonna require all patients to wear face masks as those are the guidelines. Um, we are providing face masks for our patients or you can bring in your own. And uh, I've already seen some people with some pretty cool custom face masks, so feel free to bring those in and share it with us. A few new things that you're gonna see as you enter our waiting room. Um, there's blue X's on the floor, and this is gonna mark exactly where our patients should be standing so that we've got proper social distancing. We also have a digital thermal thermometer where our patients will come up and we'll zap a quick temp, make sure that everything's good. And then a very cool thing is that we now implemented digital paperwork. Um, this is not only for the COVID form, which we have, but it's also for all of our paperwork in the office. Uh, it was a big project and thankfully we've just uh, finished it. And now all of our forms are done on an iPad and they even can be done before you come in the office to make it a smoother visit. So you'll see we have a new kiosk station set up with iPads. Um, our team's really excited about this. It's gonna help our flows and our efficiency. Another quick change up is that we are gonna ask family members to wait in the car um, so that only the patient being seen is in the office. Of course, if you're with a child or someone who needs assistance, you're definitely welcome here. And hopefully these guidelines won't be for too, too long. So some changes in the office itself. We put some plexiglass barriers, some people call them sneeze guards, um, in the admin area. This is to keep you know, proper distancing between our patients and our team and to make sure everyone, once again, is as healthy and safe as possible. Another great thing about our facility is that we outfitted the office when we built it to have pocket doors in each room. We built this in before just to give us a little bit more isolation as needed. And man, it's, e it's needed right now. So the good thing is that we don't have to put up any you know, new barriers. The easiest thing to do is we just slide the door and during your visit here, the, um, your operatory will be contained and there'll be a very, very minimal interaction with other people. And a really amazing thing that we've been using actually for eight years um, is something called the IsoDry. So this is a suction device that we've loved clinically for our dentistry. Now this IsoDry is a mouthpiece that we've been using for eight years to keep everything nice, dry, and clean. And right now it's super important for us to be using it. Um, it greatly reduces the aerosols that are produced. Um, the ADA and the CDC is actually wanting us to now implement this into our office. And we just happen to have been using it for eight years. So um, it's not anything new. You guys have seen it when you're here, um, but some new testing has come out, which is really cool. So I'm gonna flash to this picture. This picture actually shows the bacterial spore test and how, how less amount of bacteria is spread while using this isolate as compared to other uh, regular suction and other devices. So it's really nice to see some scientific background kind of reinforcing what we've been doing for years. And now more importantly than ever, it's gonna be reducing the aerosols in the air. We did some major updates to our facility, um, kind of behind the scenes where you can't see it. Uh, we already have a sealed HVAC system with fresh air input. We upgraded that to put all HEPA filters in really to reduce any kind of um, bacteria moving around and to get filtered out. And then a really cool thing is that we put in UV light sterilization. So if anything does get through there, it gets zapped by the UV. And we've got a very, very safe and efficient way to keep this place properly heated and cooled and to have fresh air for all of our patients and team. It's nice to see that our facility was kind of already set up for this. The ADA and CDC would like separate entrance and exit for um, all patients, which we thankfully already have. They want the bigger the, the area, the better. And we've got a very massive office with the really tall ceilings, keeping a good airflow going around. Um, they don't like those constricted spaces. And thankfully in our office, we definitely don't have that going on. We already have in each room, a touchless uh, hand sanitizer station, also touchless paper towels and hand soap. So we had Matt Altman of Adirondack Safety Solutions come in with a custom plan for all of our OSHA guidelines, both the new and old. And let me tell you, there's a lot of new guidelines that we had to implement. All of our team members were properly fit tested with their N95s. And what we're doing here is we're having an, a regular N95 and over the top, we're gonna have a level one surgical mask. And I got to kind of show my, my nerdy self to come out and I 3D printed a bunch of these little, uh, we call them ear savers. And it's a 3D printed piece where we can both wear the N95 and the level one surgical mask at the same time, providing both safety for our patients and ourselves. 
the fit testing was definitely an interesting portion. Uh, we had to breathe heavy at some points. We had to kind of go up and down, do jumping jacks and read an entire paragraph, making sure the whole time that everything was properly sealed. And if it wasn't properly sealed, man, we knew it. And then just touching upon the N95. So that's not the only thing that's changed here. Um, all of our team members are gonna be wearing all the proper PPE. Uh, we've got the face shields, we've got the goggles, we've got the hat. Um, pretty much everything is covered. It's a new way of operating. I think it's gonna be the standard of care from now going on. We're just super excited guys after about 10 weeks of not being able to deliver anything other than emergency treatment. We have the whole team ready to rock and roll on Monday um, with all our new guidelines and protocols. We have a little bit of butterflies just because it's kind of a new way of operating, but we know that we've done everything in our power to keep everything as efficient, keeping the quality up and most importantly, the safety. So thank you guys so much. Looking forward to seeing you in the office.